Welcome back, it's Don, and today we have quite the big video for you guys. We are going to be going over some new details of Sony Ben's new game that is up and coming, and we're also going to be giving an update on Days Gone on PC, getting some new information and a official release date. Now, before we get into that, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get notified about all my upcoming videos, and hit the like button, it helps the channel a ton. Now, let's dive into this new information based on all these job postings and it's crazy there's so much detail here so we're gonna find out everything we can about sony ben's latest game and i'm telling you guys it's seeming more and more like days gone 2 may have not been denied it, i don't know I'll, I'll show you guys everything and then you guys can decide for yourself so let's start with the senior environment artist all right there's a lot of detail here we're gonna take a look at it so first off sony ben studio they're known for days gone uncharted golden abyss and siphon filter is seeking outstanding talent to join our passionate and creative family in crafting our next high profile triple a console title so we know triple a and then they say we are seeking a senior sculptor prop artist who will contribute to the artistic vision and development of a triple a product with a specialized focus on creating detailed 3d models including weapons vehicles and environment assets utilizing a combination of traditional fine art and technical art skills and it also states an open world environment so wow first off we know weapons okay well every game they've ever worked on has had weapons right okay vehicles all right yeah i wouldn't say every every game they worked on had vehicles but days gone had a emphasis on vehicles specifically uh deacon's motorcycle and then on top of that, we have an open world environment, which is also, once again, Days Gone being the only one to do an open world environment. And now we may argue, right, well, they could just take everything they've learned with uh, Days Gone and, you know, use that same world type of world building and uh, do a different IP. Or they could even revisit Siphon Filter, for example. And yes, that's very possible. But let's look deeper into these other postings that will either, one, make us believe that Days Gone 2 isn't actually uh, denied. It, it might actually be in development or they are working on something that is going to utilize many of the great things about Days Gone 1. So we take a look at Senior Technical Artist and it says, this person will be working closely with the characters, props, vehicles, and animation team. And under responsibilities, it says, develop and implement skinning methods to achieve realistic deformation for faces, bodies, and clothes. Guys, realistic deformation for faces, bodies, and clothes. Now look, this could mean something different. I'm not a game developer, so maybe this has a, a different meaning. But what my understanding is, is deforming faces, right? So if we know Days Gone had that, the first one, right? With the bodies, the faces, and clothes. But again, this could just be, you know, showing uh, damage on your character or maybe on enemy characters or whatever it may be. And then under requirements, which really makes me feel even more so that this could be Days Gone 2, it says extensive portfolio with examples of current hands-on work, including human, creature, and animal rigs. Very, very interesting requirement there. So again, creature could imply like the Freakers, for example. And then animal rigs, you could hunt animals in the game. And then obviously humans. Very, it's so, it's so odd to me. It's so odd to me because these are all signs of, of things that were in Days Gone. But again, again, this could also be a new IP, could have similar things like that in it. So then we move on to the next job posting, which is senior network programmer. This, this really spices up everything. It says, we are seeking a senior network programmer to contribute to our development process on a AAA game. This position specializes in specific areas of programming that centers around the support of low-level network issues, multiplayer engine designs and architecture, PSN platform services, digital rights management, patching, and digital commerce. So there's something about uh, maybe a multiplayer aspect of it. And then maybe if you're not convinced, why don't we move over to the last one, which is the senior gameplay programmer. And this is really gonna lay it on you and make you think, damn, could this actually be Days Gone 2? And under responsibilities, there's a very interesting point. It says, create and maintain multiplayer gameplay systems in code and script. Under requirements, multiplayer game experience preferred. Guys, 
I don't know how else to say this, but I think this is days gone too because Jeff Ross talked about how they wanted to implement a shared world in Days Gone 1, and then they decided they're going to push that over to Days Gone 2. And that was one of their goals. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I think Days Gone 2 is a thing. I really do. Whether it is a result of the reaction of the internet and the fans, or they never actually planned on not doing Days Gone 2. But I'm saying there is too much here. There's just so much smoke. There's so much with all these different job postings that I saw that highlight a possible Days Gone sequel. Now, again, again, I swear, I, I'm not just trying to, to play to the, to the strengths of what would defend this argument, but with all these, what else could it be? It can't be Siphon Filter, that's for sure. It can't be Uncharted, because we know that they're not working on Uncharted. And Days Gone is the only other IP they've, they've worked on. So I'm sitting here thinking... It's got to be Days Gone 2. Now, in a rare instance, I guess it could be Siphon Filter to a degree, but I don't know. That would be a strange Siphon Filter game because I always took that as a almost more realistic type of game, at least back when I played it on the PS1. But in terms of, you know, creatures and stuff like that, this has Days Gone written all over it. So I'm sitting here wondering, are we getting Days Gone 2? And that's a good question, and I'd love to hear what you guys think about that. But on to our next topic, and this is from the PlayStation blog, and it's all about Days Gone PC. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update, not really going to go too extensively into this. And it's titled Days Gone PC Gameplay Revealed, launches May 18th. There are a few features that are going to be in this game for the PC that you're not going to be able to get on the console. First one, 21 by 9 ultra-wide monitor support. I wonder if they can actually do that for the PS5, but as it stands now, nope. You'll be able to fight hordes that range up to 500 freakers at one time. And uh, yeah, that's pretty incredible. I can't even imagine doing that. There's going to be a photo mode. I can't remember if there was one in uh, the PS4 version. I, I don't think there was, but anyway, there's going to be a photo mode. And yeah, it's coming out on May 18th, 2021 on PC. But damn, I'm, I'm so hyped for these job. <laughs> like it's crazy how a job posting or multiple job postings can get you so excited, but I really want to hear from you guys on those. Um, personally speaking, I'm starting to think Day Days Gone 2 is in, in production, man. I I'm telling you, I really think Days Gone 2 is in production. And it doesn't make sense for them not to, to make it. The game pr was profitable. The reviews weren't like... There were problems with the reviews. But overall, the sales were good. People loved the game. So the critics may not have loved it like the way we did. But I still feel like there's a lot of potential in this in this franchise, this IP. You got to give them a chance. I think a second chance has to happen with Days Gone 2. But I'm curious if that's actually the case or what resulted in these job postings. And it also makes me question, like, why would they go ahead and port this Days Gone game to PC, see where how it does there? And I get it. It's just another revenue stream anyway, but it does take resources to do that. I don't see how that makes sense for them to be like, we're not going to make Days Gone 2, but hey, here's Days Gone on PC. That It just, it doesn't add up. I think that this is truly maybe going to be a way to, to help fund Days Gone 2 is by putting it on PC as well. Man, I'm really feeling that this is going to be the case. But that's all I have for you guys in today's video. I'd love to hear from you. What do you think these job postings are signifying? Are we looking at a Days Gone 2? Are we looking at an older IP or a newer IP, a brand new IP maybe even? Let me know in the comments. And how do you feel about Days Gone on PC? Will you be picking it up? As always, if you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to get notified about all my upcoming videos. And hit the like button. It helps the channel a ton. You can follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Links will be in the description. And share this video with a friend. I will talk to you all on the next one. Take care.